Using scissors on a bouncing puppy is a challenge. This is Mia, and she is a Maltese Yorkie. This is her first professional grooming appointment. I'm bathing her today in tearless shampoo, and because she was so bouncy, I found it much easier to hold her in the air to get the job done. And it was really adorable when she started swimming. After her bath, I towel her dry, and she wasn't fond of her happy hoodie. She kept trying to take it off. As I blow dried her with the high velocity dryer, she was a little bit nervous. She protested mostly everything, including her nail trim. But trimming the eyes on a moving puppy is the most difficult part about grooming them. I'm holding the hair at the bottom of her chin to keep her as still as possible. It's important that even though she's protesting that I do not let her win by letting go. This will teach her that her actions are getting the reaction that she's looking for. Eventually, she does calm down long enough for me to get the hairs between her eyes. If you notice, I'm doing small clips at a time so that my scissors are not near her eyes for a long period of time. This part of being a groomer is what requires the most amount of patience. After that, I gave her a brush, and then I attempted to shave out her paw pads. She wasn't having it, but something tells me this puppy was getting tired, because she eventually just gave up. She may have given me a run for my money, but at the end, I won.